Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is the office of the sheriff in Tennessee. And we have to talk about uh, the office of uh, sheriff in Tennessee, a retired Tennessee patrolman, Lewis Sweeney. Uh, Mr. Sweeney, let us uh, welcome you to the show this morning and to tell you how delighted we are to uh, have you here and to uh, talk about a topic that I've been quite curious about myself, and that is the sheriff in Tennessee. I would imagine that the sheriff in Tennessee might hold the same responsibilities as the sheriff in any other town or any other city and et cetera. But nevertheless, let's look at it from that perspective to give us some information in, in reference to your background, education, and your experiences. And then we'll get into the topic of the sheriff in Tennessee during that second segment. Well, first of all, I appreciate you allowing me this opportunity to be on your program. I was born and raised in the military. My father was in the army. I have had, I have lived in Alaska, Maine, Kentucky, and I have traveled throughout the United States, including Canada. The Lord has blessed me with the opportunity to be exposed to many different nationalities, uh, customs and religions and different people. And I appreciate that opportunity to do that. Uh, also, uh, in 1968, my dad had to go to Vietnam. That's what got me to Tennessee. My family is, their family is from, majority are from, are from Tennessee. That's what got us here. So when my father returned from Vietnam in 1972, I joined the Army during the Vietnam War. I was a military policeman. And after that, when I got out, I was honorably discharged from the military police in the Army. Then I attended TSU. And my major was uh, in criminal justice. Then I got hired by the Department of Youth Development of Tennessee, which was a juvenile correctional institution. I stayed there for about almost uh, seven years. Then I was a uh, dormitory supervisor at that time. Then one time, one day I had to take a, a subject in uh, Murfreesboro at MTSU. Then one day I went by, I used to pass by the Sheriff's Department in Rutherford County going to class. Then one day something told me just go in there and fill out that application. So I tried to follow my instincts. I went in there and got hired on the spot. So I became a deputy sheriff. Then after about a year, I returned back to Spencer Youth Center. I got promoted in the mid-management position. Then a year later, I was hired by the Tennessee State Department of Safety. I was a special agent, and I was signed to work at the state capitol. Then in uh, 1991, I was promoted to the trooper position. And that's when I had transferred to, uh, assigned to Murray County, Columbia. Well, while in Murray County, uh, in 19, I will say 19, well, 1991 is when I got there, I was the, uh, I was proud of myself. I was the only black trooper in the whole district and now in the county. So that was a good experience right there for me. Then after that, in, two, in uh, I think it was 1996, I joined the Tennessee Army National Guard. Uh, I became the first person in my, in my lifetime that I'm aware of has been out of the service for 23 years to get in the Army National Guard. I was a combat military policeman then. Then also during that time in uh, 2000, I wrote a book. So that was my first time writing a book titled The System of Things. So in 2006, I decided to uh, Get, uh, I decided to get in politics. And by the way, during that time I had graduated, so I got a BS degree in criminal justice at uh, TSU. So now uh, I started getting in politics. So I, uh, I ran for county commissioner, and then in 2010 I ran for uh, sheriff in Murray County. And also during that time I had wrote another, another, I wrote another book titled The System Things 2, True Justice Went to Hell. So I've been kind of busy. Uh, then after that is when I got another degree, I got a social degree in digital audio production. So I've been pretty busy, busy in the Highway Patrol and now in 2013, I have just retired from Tennessee Highway Patrol and now it is 2014, I'm running for sheriff again. 
question. Very good. Of course, that's, that's excellent information in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences. And so what we're going to do, uh, uh, Sweeney, is to uh, take uh, uh, our first commercial break. And then when we come back, uh, since you uh, have indicated that you are interested in the office of sheriff, we're going to spend uh, the uh, next segment talking about the office of sheriff, not only in Murray County, but how you see that position as uh, being an office of the sheriff. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment. We're talking to Louis Sweeney, a retired uh, patrolman, Tennessee patrolman, who's talking about some of uh, his background, his education, and some of his experiences that will eventually lead him to become a candidate for the office of sheriff. But now we would like for him to uh, give us some information, uh, Mr. Sweeney, in reference to the office itself, you know, uh, considering the office of sheriff in all of the various counties and et cetera. Give us some summaries in reference to that office in, in, in the, over the next eight minutes. Well, actually, the sheriff differs in different counties. In some counties, like metro counties or places, the sheriff is the key law enforcement office, office of the county. For example, in uh, metro Davidson County, the metro police is the chief law enforcement office, and the county sheriff department in Davidson County is not. Well, in Murray County, the Sheriff Department is the chief law enforcement office in the county. And the sheriff operates according to the Constitution of the United States of America, and that's what they answer to, according to the, and they also according to the federal laws, state laws, and local laws. So the, uh, the sheriff in Murray County is a little bit different. And we, we work, the sheriff works for with different departments, agencies, uh, government, it comes to ask for assistance. So that's one of the functions of the Sheriff Department in Murray County. And so, so the Sheriff's Office is very important, but it's not the chief law enforcement agent in Murray County. Is it? It, it is it the is chief. A, it is the uh -huh. chief. Mm -hmm. But in some counties, it's, it's not. not. Uh, and, and, and therefore, when you have a police uh, situation, that is the chief of police and a sheriff's office. Now, what about this thing about the sheriff being in charge of the jail? I've heard uh, often heard that said in reference to uh, various counties. Is, is that the responsibility of the oh, sheriff? Well, in Murray County, there's, there are three city police departments. There's the Columbia Police Department, Spring Hill Police Department, and Mount Pleasant Police Department. Now, they are connected with the city. Now, the sheriff department in Murray County has two functions. One is the law enforcement end, and one is the correctional part end. And so that's why we often think of the sheriff as being involved with the jail situation. Is that what, is that what we're saying? Exactly. Uh -huh. Now, again, in some counties, that's all the sheriff department does concentrate on is the jail. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But not in Murray County. But not in Murray County. It's a little different in Murray County than... Now, do, do you think that that's uh, to the advantage of the sheriff's office? Uh, 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 is it because of the size? Is that, is, well, why is that a dual situation in Murray County and not in, in, in Davidson County, for example? A lot, of, a lot of it has to do with the size and the charter and how they uh, set up the county in the first place. So I cannot tell you any, any deeper than that. Uh -huh. but, but it is something that comes as, as, as a result of uh, having two entities, one the sheriff's department and one the uh, city law, uh, law, enforcement, law department. enforcement department. Exactly. Okay. Now, from what I understand, you have some, uh, some desire to be a, a sheriff in Murray County. Why, why, why would you like to be a sheriff in Murray County? Well, one of the reasons why I like to be the sheriff in Murray County is I've been uh, not only citizens of Murray County for almost 23 years, but I have the desire to um, make a difference in Murray County. And that also that uh, <clears throat> I'm, by me being a state trooper, 
I have the, I know just about everybody in the county and also the police departments, and I know that we can work, I can work well with all the agencies in the, in the county. And so your experience, and so you've worked in Murray County as a trooper for, for uh, most of your, experience, your, your patrolman experience. Exactly. Well, my first two and a half years, I worked at the state capitol, and in Murray County, I worked for almost 23 years. So I've been there for quite a while. And, and so you, you should have quite a bit of knowledge in reference to the operation and, and, and some of the other things that happen in reference to uh, that particular area and that, partic and that, partic that, that particular uh, entity there in the county, that enforcement entity. Exactly. And one of the things about being a uh, state trooper is that whenever there's a, a tragedy or cat catastrophe that occurs in the city or the county, when the city and county cannot handle it, that's when they call me. See, we're also not only state trooper, but we're Homeland Security. Uh -huh. So, in other words, like the last defense for and, America. And, and, and so, in a real sense, the, the, the sheriff's office is a very, very significant operation within uh, law enforcement in a real sense. And they not only just watch over the jails, but they have a, a much larger responsibility than that. And, and that's the law enforcement department uh -huh. uh, uh, end of it. Uh -huh. That's true. And very good, and and and, and so in, in, in a real sense, uh, this is this your first uh, opportunity to seek that uh, office, and, and 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 what do you see as some of the challenges in terms of uh, uh, being successful in that uh, effort? Well, no, this is not my first time. I at first, at first, I never did really want to get involved in politics because of the things I've seen throughout my career. But as a result of what I've seen is what the reason why I decided to get involved in politics as far as the candidate is concerned. As I may mention earlier, I did run for county commissioner and I did run for uh, sheriff in 2010. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make another bid and run for, two th uh, for sheriff in 2014. I bring a lot to the table as being the sheriff, my qualifications and my history and my work ethics. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be a, a benefit for Murray County for me becoming the sheriff. And, and, and so this is, this is your second or third uh, foray into uh, politics, and, and, and into a legislative kind of politics, electoral kind of politics. Is that what we're saying? Exactly. Uh -huh. and, 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 and so you believe that uh, uh, your candidacy would mean something to the people of America. What would that candidacy mean to the people of Murray County? Well, first of all, I represent a, a change. And uh, through my, throughout my reputation and my desire, I have done a lot of things good for Murray County just as a trooper. I have, uh, as for example, when I first had to run for sheriff, I, was, I made history. I was transferred out of the county. And then after the election was over with, I was brought back. So I had made a lot of changes. As a result of my name and reputation, it seemed like policies, rules and, rules and regulations are changed mm -hmm. as a result of me. So I know that I'm, I can make a difference in Murray County. So at one time you were elected uh, as uh, sheriff and then you were taken out of? No, no, I had, ran, I, ran. I had ran for sheriff uh -huh. before in 2010. Uh -huh. And as a result, you know, rules, regulations, policies, and procedures were changed. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I was transferred out of the county. And then after the election was, brought, was over with, I was brought back to the county. Well, now, were those rules, regulations, and policies changed uh, because you were uh, a candidate for that office? And if so, well, what were those rules, regulations, and policies that were changed? Well, first of all, when you run for an office, uh, for example, the trooper, uh, sheriff position, that, you know, everyone that r runs for office live in the county, works in the county, and have opportunity to, uh, uh, to do their job. We're going to have to take this okay. uh, commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.
Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Lewis Sweeney, who is a candidate for the office of sheriff in Murray County, uh, Tennessee. And he's given us some information in reference to the office of the office of sheriff. That is not only the position, but the office that, uh, des that is designated uh, by the uh, state constitution in terms of a person being a sheriff. And of course, Mr. Sweeney, let's pick up uh, where we left off the last time and to give you an opportunity to talk about some of the challenges and some of the changes that uh, have been made in reference to uh, your efforts to become a candidate for the office of sheriff in uh, Mary County. Well, first of all, I'm not naive. <clears throat> I don't believe in coincidences. I believe there's reason for everything and nothing happens by chance. When I first found out that I was going to be assigned to Murray County, I did my research. And according to my research, I had discovered that in 1946, that's where the race riot started in Murray County. And that's where slaves were sold. And that's where the good old boy mentality is deep-rooted. That's where crime and unsolved murders was a common occurrence. And not only that, I discovered that Murray County borders Giles County, and according to history, that's where the Ku Klux Klan originated from. So having said that, I had to rely upon heavily upon my faith in the Lord and the blessing that I was given to have, be, to have the opportunity to be born and raised in the military mm -hmm. and to be exposed to different nationalities, customs, religions, and people of color of skin. Mm -hmm. So I believe that the Lord had prepared me for that challenge. Mm -hmm. And also, as far as my human nature was concerned, I was proud of the fact of being the only black trooper, not only in Murray County, but the whole district. Mm -hmm. Now, ha having said that, I believe the challenge was more on the citizens of Murray County than me, okay? Uh, so having said that, and I've always wanted to be, I make a difference in Murray County. I've always wanted to be a champion for Murray County. And again, that's one of the reasons why I decided to get in law enforcement, excuse me, in, in politics as a candidate. But I will admit that it didn't come easy. And uh, for, for example, in, again, 2006, when I ran for county commissioner, I, the, the rules and regulations was changed and policies was changed. And then in 2010, as I mentioned earlier, I, I made history again, rules and regulations and policies and procedures was changed. And I was even transferred out of the county. And then of course, I was transferred back in the county. But those changes didn't really bother me too much because in a way I felt proud that little old me will cause the system there to change things that they, they haven't done before. So I was proud of that. So you think that, it, uh, that when you ran for office the first time that uh, somehow the, the powers that be or other forces that uh, wherever they, however we might identify them, uh, were in opposition to a person like yourself being a sheriff, would, would, would you say that it was that blatant and that outlandish? Uh, it's well, I would say so, especially me being the first and only one to ever been done like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, again, that's, if what has happened to me has been said and done. And again, I look at that as a, a, a mission accomplished for me that I was able to survive it. And I feel like and by me being able to survive that, it's showing not only the citizens of Murray County, but everybody else that hey, I, can, I can handle it. I can handle the changes that come through. Now, I will say, for example, now, I'm not gonna say the other candidates that are involved in this race, mm -hmm. which one is from an ex-city police officer, two are currently involved or working for the Sheriff Department, and one is an ex-county officer uh, of Murray County. Now, they, they may be qualified, but at the end of the day, when there's a tragedy or anything that comes, by, comes out that they need assistance, I'm the one they call. And so your 20 odd years uh, involved with the uh, state patrol, right? T Tennessee State Patrol, mm -hmm. uh, 
<laughs> you believe will, will be significant in terms of how you will be able to handle what goes on in the sheriff's office in Murray County. Is that what we're saying? Exactly. For, again, one thing about it is I've been there almost well, 23 years. Okay? And I know every officer in the city, county, and well, I can say the state because it was only a handful of us. You almost, you almost have to. Uh -huh. well, yeah, just a handful of us. As a matter of fact, many times I'm the only one working the whole county. So it's a, it takes a tremendous responsibility to be a trooper. That's why not everyone could be a trooper. And the majority of city officers and county officers, that's their desire to become a state trooper. But it's not easy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of responsibility being out there on the road by yourself. And see, it's not like that I could call a supervisor if something comes up. I got to make that decision. And the decisions that I, that I have to make could be just as like the decisions a sheriff might have to make. So it's easier to be said and done. I have been battle tested. I know how, how things go. And I would imagine, uh, uh, Mr. Sweeney, that uh, being a state patrolman, uh, you are in a real sense one of the most admired uh, arms of the law uh, in the state of Tennessee. I say that primarily because I know how uh, most folks react when they see that yellow and that black car coming down the road and how we slow down and et cetera, that uh, there are some things that we do in terms of seeing you that as, as a patrolman that we probably won't do all the time, even if we recognize that that's a sheriff and et cetera, that, that, that you sort of bring a special kind of understanding to what the law is all about to most folks. And that's true. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a city detective, they had a trial one day and they were getting ready to prosecute this, uh, this woman. And what happened was the detectives, they broke in this woman's house. And she said that she filed a lawsuit because she said that scared her child, okay, into a trauma. And just so happened that one of the detectives said, do you know Trooper Sweeney? And the little girl said, have you ever met Trooper Sweeney? And the girl said, yes. Well, you weren't afraid of him, were you? And she said, no. So the city was able to win their case by that. I have a good reputation in town. They, everybody in the town knows that I'm a fair man. I treat everybody equal, regardless of their status, position, or wealth. That's the way I am. And one of the reasons why I want to become the sheriff is I want to be in a position so that whoever come in my department will know they've been treated fair and equal and have an equal opportunity to advance. They'll, they'll get that with me. And you think that the